welcome back to my channel. Well, what we're going to do today is another Dollar Tree DIY. This time I want to make a farmhouse windmill using Dollar Tree items. I think this is going to be so cute. I have no idea where I'm going to put this, but I really wanted to make it. So let me show you what you'll need in case you wanna make this really cute and easy Dollar Tree farmhouse windmill DIY. Okay, the first thing you'll need is some of these square wood planks that are crafter square, okay? And like I said, all this is coming from the Dollar Tree except the paint, okay? Then you're going to be needing um, some of these large dowels from the Dollar Tree. I got them a couple hauls ago and I was so surprised to see them. So you're gonna need four of those, all right? And you're gonna need some of these tumbling tower game pieces, as they call it, okay? And then you're going to need one of these little windmills that were in the garden section at the Dollar Tree, and it just says welcome, okay? And then you're going to need something to actually cut the windmill with. Now, I have the Klein pliers, but I just don't have much upper body strength, and this was pretty stout, so I had my husband snip it for me, but he did use these climb pliers, okay? Then you're going to need, I think I'm going to use this Waverly Chalk Paint in Truffle. I get mine at Walmart. I've had many people ask me where I pick it up. Um, sometimes you have to go to a couple Walmarts because sometimes they're out of stock. You can also buy it online. Might dry brush it with the Apple Barrel white acrylic paint. I really don't know that I'm going to be doing that. And I really need to pick up some foam brushes, so I'm going to be using this brush to put it on with and this one in case I dry brush. And you'll need a glue gun and then like a square or something to kind of keep yourself straight. And other than that, that is all you need to make this simple, simple farmhouse DIY. So let me go ahead and push the camera down and we'll get started making this really cute farmhouse windmill. Okay, the first thing you do is you take this windmill, I have another one just to show you, and right in here, I wanted to make this pretty sturdy. So I just had him snip it right here at the back and make sure you slip it, at, <laughs> and make sure you clip it as uh, level as possible. I might have mine off just a little, but that's where you clip it, okay? And then that removes this from it. And I'm keeping this because you can always use that for something else, and I might use this for something else, okay? So that just leaves us with this. And I love the color that I chose. I was very fortunate that I got to choose and this little center kind of gets wonky on and off, so you gotta, gotta play with it, okay? Then you're gonna take a plank of this Crafter Square wood planks, and then you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full size of the Jenga blocks. You don't cut them down at all. And then you're going to take four because, and you don't even have to do this part, I just wanted to make a frame around mine. And you just cut them around so they'll fit, and I just use that little saw of mine, and it works very nicely. Okay, and then you're going to take your uh, wooden dowels, and you're going, I had him do this as well. You're going to take two of them, and I had him drill a little hole right down in the center. He said he was very slow and very careful, and it doesn't have to go down very far. And then the other one, all you do is just take that little saw like I have and very gently cut a slit in there. And you don't have to go down really far. You can see how far I went down, not that far, okay? And do that on two of them, okay? Now we're just going to paint this with our Waverly chalk paint in truffle. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to be using this brush. I'm just gonna get it out of the cap for a little bit. And I'm not gonna have you watch me paint all this, but I'm just giving it a good coat, just like this. And I'm gonna paint the top and the sides. You don't have to paint the bottom because no one's going to see it unless you just want to. Then I'm gonna paint all sides of my Jenga blocks 
and all around both, all four of these little um, stick, um, wooden dowels that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I'll be back. Okay, I have everything painted. And now all we're going to do is take this. I just think this is going to be cute. I want to uh, fix it on here before I do the rest. We're going to take this one that has the little hole in it. And we're going to put this, let this slide right down in there like that, okay? And then we're going to take the other one and just slide it right like that, okay? That's what we're getting. Then we're just going to take this. This is so cute. I saw one a lot like this at um, Hobby Lobby. And naturally, it was very expensive, and I thought, oh, I could make that. So that's where I got the idea from, okay? So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here. Set that right there. And a little bit of glue. Right there. And just hold it it will hold it will set up I use the Gorilla Glue and I love it okay you can see it's already set up okay and we're going to make it sturdier here in just a minute okay then we're going to take these that have the little slit cut right in that end and we're going to insert that slit right on this little thing right here this round thing, if I can see. Okay, right there. And you just have to be easy and delicate when you do it. Okay, there's that one. Then we're gonna glue these. And then right here's that slit I was telling you about. It just slides right in there because I wanted my my windmill to still turn, okay? All right, now I'm just going to take it. Put a little bit of glue right there. Put this one with a little bit of glue right there. And I would definitely use E6000. Um, I just haven't found any of it at Walmart that doesn't have the um, no odor at my Walmart. I know one of you told me that it was there. I just haven't seen it. Maybe I'm overlooking it, okay? So that is what you have so far. And you definitely make sure you bend these towards the front. Now I'm going to take my paint right here and just kind of touch up right on that edge that I didn't get really well. Okay, and if you wanted to, you could stop right like this. You definitely could stop right here and it's adorable, okay? But I thought the one at um, Hobby Lobby had like a little base around it. So I thought, why not see what I can do? So let's just look. I have to, I have to figure out which ones. And the easy way to figure out which ones you cut are just hold them up to the regular ones, and they're much shorter. Through the top first. I'm gonna lay it out first. It's always best to do that. And you could always put some greenery in here by doing this if you wanted. But like I said, theirs was like that. So I thought, well, that's what I'll do. There, and like I said, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. 
definitely do not have to do this at all. Now on this end, I'm doing it a little different. I'm going to do it like that. You could do it the same all around. I just decided I would do it a little different on this end just to give it a little interest. If you want your symmetrical, you definitely can, okay? So what I want to do is get my square out because I want this to be nice and flush. And then I'm going to use this Dollar Tree ruler on this side. Maggie is on guard. There's a delivery truck out there. I don't know if it's for us or one of the neighbors. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put some glue right down through here. Like I said, I definitely would use E6000 in combination with hot glue. Because you want this to hold. But I just have so many allergies that it is not even funny. Okay, just push that right like that. And like I said, totally optional if you want to do it this way. Then I'm going to put some glue right down through here and right down this side and snug this one in right like this, okay? Then we're going to put some glue, a little bit on this end and right down through here like that. Snug it right here. And we're just going to keep going all the way around like that. So I won't have you watch me do this all the way around, but it's that simple. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, this is what we have so far. I think this is adorable. I love it. And I'll let you see that what this looks right here. I need to clean up my glue strings and things like that. I think I will dry brush this. Now you could dry brush it a lot of different colors. I think I'm going to take this white. Pour a very small amount out. Don't need a lot. That was too much. Put some on here and really get it off. And then just sort of, my lighting's a little off today because it's raining. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of that good natural sunlight like I normally do. I just love to dry brush things. I think it definitely makes things look so much better. And I love how these Jenga blocks take dry brushing. And then I'm just going to come down here on these and just put some. You'll notice I haven't reloaded my brush in a while. And don't forget the back side of the stick because they need it too. And then I might put a little bit more. And we'll just come down through here. And put that on there. Anywhere else that I might want to put some. I think that's it. Okay, let's take a look at it. Well, here it is. I just love how this turned out. If you would see this out like I did at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, you would pay a lot of money for this. And it's from the Dollar Tree. I think it's so cute. This is the bottom. Here's the sides, the back. And like I said, if you wanted, you could put, um, here's the back again. 
If you wanted, you could put um, greenery down in here. You could put anything. Um, you could even put, maybe put that little home sign from the Dollar Tree and paint that. But I just think this is so cute. I don't know where I'm going to put it, um, but I just wanted to make this because I've had it in my mind to make something like this after I saw that little one at um, Hobby Lobby. But I really like how this turned out and it's so economical and easy to decorate in the farmhouse style from with items from the Dollar Tree. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So let's go take a look in my laundry room and just see how it will look in there. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is with my other little DIYs. I made that and there's a video on my channel and there's a video for that on my channel. And I just think this is just so pretty, just sitting there, it just looks adorable. Now we're still not finished with um, the laundry room. We were working on the back porch all weekend and we almost got it finished, but it started raining. So I will see you all on Wednesday for two videos, like I always do. I'm going to be having a Dollar Tree haul with awesome new finds and then my planner using Dollar Tree stickers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time. Bye guys.